Uh, my name is Jim Ryan. I used to be the host of uh, Good Day New York on Channel 5. Thank you very much. You were the only 20 people in America who watched. So, on behalf of the uh, Ken Biberite campaign, it just got louder, I'd like to welcome you all to Kennedy's and uh, the official launch of his quest to become the councilman from the 6th District on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Now, uh, I've been around politics for quite some time, uh, but as a newsman, so I always remained neutral. No longer. And I'm very happy to uh, be here to help Ken get his campaign rolling. Now, as a reporter for the Daily News a thousand years ago, uh, I regularly covered the council, and that was before Charter Revision increased the membership of the council to 51. 51 members. They still weren't playing with a full deck. <laughs> Under the old charter, there was an office called City Council President, and it was occupied at the time by Carol Bellamy. Ed Koch was the mayor, and when he was conducting his ill-advised run for governor, uh, he appeared in Rochester one time, and he was asked by a local reporter who obviously was unfamiliar with politics in New York City if he had the tact to handle the various factions in Albany. For example, the reporter said, you said that about city council president Carol Bellamy, and she said, and I quote, I think she's a horror show with good bone structure. Yeah. And Koch thought for a second, and he said, I never said I think. <laughs> and once during a city council meeting uh, that I was covering, a councilman from the Bronx rose and said, I rise in disagreement with the speaker who predeceased me. <laughs> well, the council had a less than stellar reputation uh, through the years. And after all, it succeeded the Board of Aldermen, whose nickname was the 40 Thieves. But now, thanks to term limits, after 12 years, the mayor and half the council will be forced out of office. It is time for new blood, different perspectives innovating thinking about the thorny problems that face New York City in the 21st century. Now, to answer that call, how about a guy who was born in the Bronx with a family history of community service? How about a guy whose father emigrated to this country, worked as a doorman, worked in a pizza parlor, drove a cab, meanwhile earning his PhD at Columbia and eventually winding up as a director with the Voice of America. Ken's father. <laughs> to answer that call, how about a guy who, as an undergraduate at American University, was twice elected president of the student body? How about a guy who earned a master's in public policy from the Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University? How about a guy who earned his law degree at night while working full-time daily in real estate and finance? Yeah. And while we're at it, how about a guy who was instrumental in restoring a New York institution, the Russian Tea Room, to its former glory? How about a guy who's not beholden to special interests or to party bosses? In New York City, ladies and gentlemen, it's about time for the next wave of ideas fresh perspectives, smarter approaches to age-old problems, young, vibrant thinking. And I think the guy who's the embodiment of all that is the reason we're all here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Ken Biberai. Well, Jim, I... Uh... I hope you're free for the next 18 months because we're gonna have to take the show on the road and go door to door and, uh, and really get out there. So first I wanna thank Jim Ryan for being here today. We only met a, a couple of times and for his willingness to, to be here today, to talk, to, to support the campaign. He's such an icon, he's an institution, he is New York and I appreciate everything you've done for us. So a round of applause for Jim, thank you. Thank you. And the voice of God behind me, Michael Glenn of Kennedy's. I want to thank Michael and Kennedy's and Paul Hurley. 
and the rest of the team, the bartenders, the staff. Kennedy's is a great local uh, establishment here in the neighborhood. We hope you come here often and support them. Also want to thank Wendy Gordon and uh, <laughs> the team from Sherman Square and the rest of, uh, of the gang. Um, I want to point out and thank my lovely wife, Valerie, in the back. She's always hiding in the corner there. But that was one of the reasons why I'm running and why I'm here, and, uh, and she deserves a lot of uh, credit for it. Um, I also want to thank the team that we had at the front when you checked in. Hopefully it was a seamless process. We put together a great group of people, so really couldn't have done it without them. So to, to the team we have here, thank you. Um, and most of all, I want to thank all of you here today. I mean, if you just look around at how many people showed up, we're just truly inspired and overwhelmed. I cannot believe this many people showed up for a city council race 18 months away to support us and really get us <laughs> off the ground. So it really just means a tremendous amount to me personally. So thank you all for being here and supporting us. I want to make one more, uh, one more uh, recognition. I want to recognize Bob Lieber, the former deputy mayor for New York City, who also stopped by on the way home to, to see what we're about. And thank you, Bob, for being here. Always been a great support to us, so thank you. As Jim said, my family immigrated from Albania in 1968, and my dad worked three jobs, put himself through Columbia, learned English, and I don't think he could have ever imagined 30 years later his son would come back to the Upper West Side and be running for city council. And that's just the kind of city we live in, that's the kind of country we live in. Opportunities are here, and we really need to, to embrace that. New York is a place where all of this can happen. Um, as Jim alluded to, I spent a lot of time working in politics. I spent some time in Harlem working for President Clinton. I worked for John Kerry down in Florida, got my master's at the Kennedy School, was on this track to be in politics and government. But I realized in 2004 that if I ever wanted to really contribute in politics and government, I need to leave it completely. I need to get some business experience and learn how the world works. So, came to New York seven years ago, and the last seven years have been a whirlwind. Been spending time helping small businesses expand. We helped save the Russian tea room and bring it back. Been working on a lot of nonprofits and other causes. So I've been very fortunate to work on so many things. And now, at a time when we look around the city, mayors leaving half the council, 2013 is really an election about the future. And I think it's important we do get a new group of people with different set of skills. People who understand how nonprofits, how business, how government, how they all work. Because the resources of everybody are stretched so thin, we have to work together as a city to really address the big, daunting issues that we have. People always ask me, why are you running for city council? And I have a very short answer. It matters. Okay? And I don't know if everybody realizes it, but on a very local basis, city council affects your lives every single day more than most people in Congress. And at the local level, city council matters. It matters to parents who have kids and they can't get them into the school in the neighborhood because they're overcrowded. It matters to small businesses like Michael's and others in the neighborhood who are just getting squeezed and don't feel like they have the support from the city. And, you know, it matters. It matters that our community is made up of these small businesses that can survive and succeed. It matters that we don't have enough support for middle class and affordable housing so people can be in New York for the rest of their lives and raise families. It matters that some of the services that we have for seniors are always on the chopping block and in danger. So it matters who we have in city council and leading the city to kind of address these issues. And I really think we can do better. And I'm excited about this race. I'm excited about this election. I need your help. Um, everybody here tonight has been so instrumental in kind of supporting the campaign, contributing, giving what you can, and that means so much. But over the next 18 months, you're going to hear a lot from us. And we need introductions to your friends. We need you to come to more events. We need ideas from you about what you think the city can be doing. We need to make this a real community effort to tackle these challenges, because there's no way that somebody like me or anybody else is going to do it by themselves. This is going to be a group effort. And the Upper West Side is such a dynamic, amazing place. You know, it's, it's a very hands-on. And people always ask, well, you can't run on the Upper West Side. You haven't been around long enough. You haven't been in all these different groups and all these clubs. But I think. At the core of it, I understand what the Upper West Side needs. I'm willing to work hard for the Upper West Side, and I think the Upper West Side has changed a lot in the last 12 years, and I think they're excited for some new leadership, and I'm confident that we could do it. So with your help, I think we're going to be able to pull this off. So I want to thank everybody for being here. I want you to get back to having fun. I want you to mingle and meet everybody else in this room. Thank you, and we'll see you at the next one.